Right now at 6, 70 year old Sandra Ecker disappeared more than a year ago. Franklin police police that is confirm this missing persons case has turned into a homicide investigation. Eckert's husband confirms detectives have named him and his brother as persons of interest. He spoke with our Katie Crowther outside the home he shared with his wife. It's been nearly 450 days since anyone has seen or heard from Sandra Eckert. I agree with my kids saying mom would never do this. Yeah. I think mom ran in a foul play. Her husband, Wes, was the last person to interact with her. Uh, earlier in the night, we had an argument. The last thing she said, you're going to hear from my lawyer. So I'm sitting around here for a month waiting for a lawyer to show up and ruin the rest of my life. Because I worked two jobs my whole life, and I've, I've got money, and I'd like to keep it. Do you worry where she could be? Well, it was, she got friends in all parts of the country. But you do worry there's foul play. Yeah, she had cash. She ain't been spending no money. How do you get along without spending your money? The couple's four kids are offering a $50,000 reward for any information about their mom. Wes says she left their home in Franklin on March 26, 2021, in a gray Dodge Stratus. Franklin police say the car was last seen being driven later that night in Muskego. The car is also still missing. It's still a mystery. Uh, I believe some kind of foul play because I would have heard from her. Franklin police are now investigating Sandra's disappearance as a homicide. They searched the home she shared with Wes, who says police have treated him unfairly from the beginning. There's no evidence and plenty of lies. Now, Wes says other family is under investigation. He says police showed up at his brother's home last week with guns drawn and confiscated a cell phone, computer, guns for hunting and cash. They said her cell phone was in his driveway. Wes says Franklin police then showed up at his house, pressuring him about his brother. He's down in our cell right now crying, crying. You have to go down there, tell the truth and save him. Why let him take the rap? So it's a total squeeze job. And there's nothing to squeeze out of either one of us. Franklin police confirmed they took one man into custody on June 7th to conduct a search warrant at a Waukesha home in connection to charges of first degree intentional homicide and hiding a corpse. The man was later released. At this time, no one is in custody in connection to Sandra Eckert's case, and no charges have been referred to the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office. Search warrants and all other documents tied to this investigation are under a court order seal. Franklin police tell me that's to protect the integrity of this investigation. In Franklin, Katie Crowther, TMJ4 News. All right, Katie, thanks. We heard from the family of Sandy Eckert. In part, they say they're thankful that justice is on the horizon, although it won't bring closure to them. They say it will allow them to properly grieve and honor her. If you're interested in reading the full statement from her daughter and son, all you have to do is scan the QR code. It will bring you directly to our web article that showcases what they were willing to share with us.